see I did make almost 10 to 20 10 rotations to see the gain in effect now, now the signal is just the 10 millivolts you can see here but the amplified waveform is like a Vmax 4 volts so you can calculate the ratio the amount by which the signal is getting amplified so it's a huge signal hello everyone so today I have got this uh, instrumentation amplifier and uh, this is how the packaging looks like it's a 8620 microvolt amplifier and uh, it has got these ICs you can see the 8620 amplifier here and this potentiometer is for the gain and this is for the offset I have uh, connected the power supply of uh, 9 volts through this jumper lead and another this is uh, black wire going to the other crocodile clip this is the button GI that is used to activate the function generator I'll talk about that later on now let's see uh, this instrumentation amplifier so it has got these positive negative signal pins which are commonly known as inverting and non-inverting and the voltage input and here are the, the out the actual output and the ground so these two uh, this, this, this probe is uh, going to channel 1 and this probe is supplying the signal so let's uh, work with that I'll press auto and uh, the signal works like this so currently you can see that uh, I have 1 volt and 1 kilowatt signal or here and it's amplified to almost 6 volts you can see the Vmax is uh, 6 volts and because I'm not using any negative power supply so that's why it's uh, only amplifying on the positive side now if I change the offset via this potentiometer you can see that the waveform will travel up and down and so this defines the DC offset of the amplified uh, waveform and if I want to change the gain I can do it like this using this potentiometer the other one here and the value on the potentiometer is 104 which is 100 kilo ohms okay so if i change it you can see the gain is getting decreased sometimes when you buy the new uh, module you may have to uh, rotate this potentiometer a lot to actually uh, find it uh, in action okay so once it uh, depending on your input signal once it hits the that specific ratio of the feedback resistor and input resistor which sets the gain of the amplifiers it will start to show the effect on the waveform so the major purpose of instrumentation amplifier is the uh, gain so let's decrease the voltage i'll do 10 millivolts now my signal is 10 millivolts and uh, because the signal is too low that's why uh, it's not appearing on the screen so let's increase the gain I'm not sure where 
yeah it's now see I had to t make almost 10 to 20 10 rotations to see the gain in effect now, now the signal is just the 10 millivolts you can see here but the amplified waveform is like a Vmax 4 volts so you can calculate the ratio the amount by which the signal is getting amplified so it's a huge signal amplification I also wanted to go even lower in terms of microvolts but uh, I think my oscilloscope only supports the lowest one so let's say if I if I'm doing one millivolt it says the set lower limit which is two millivolts I cannot go below two millivolts okay so with the two millivolts at the input if I increase again it quickly gets distorted so to let's uh, move this up and now you can see the waveform jumping around to set that I got to do this trigger level and it's somehow should look better but I think signal is too weak it's still uh, with the supply of 9 volts the 2 millivolt signal is getting amplified uh, to 3 volts and you can also see it goes um, down to the negative volts as well so what if I don't want uh, this signal to go down or go below zero I'll just uh, change the offset via the other potentiometer here so I wanna move the signal up see the signal is getting up and up and up so if I reposition my signal so again it's now resting above zero it's still going to minus uh, uh, 391 millivolts but I can still manage this uh, by using this game this sorry offset now it's in the positive volts, positive side of the signal so the top peak here is almost at 6.7 volts and which is almost 7 volts and the input signal is very tiny which is 2 millivolts so this is the power of uh, instrumentation amplifier module here working really great and actually i bought it for these uh, shunt current sensors which work uh, in terms of uh, 100 amperes and uh, millivolts yeah so these millivolt signals uh, need to be amplified and properly conditioned to be read by a microcontroller so in my next uh, video I'll be posting how you would uh, in connect this instrumentation amplifier with this uh, shunt resistor and how to calculate the current using the microcontroller